Hello everyone, Melissa Wilson, physician assistant and ask an expert for AIM at Melanoma. We're back again with Melanoma 101 and this lecture is going to be talking about what is a Breslow depth and obviously why is it important. So a Breslow depth is something that is reported on pathology reports and it is a very descriptive term that tells us essentially how deep your melanoma is. The very interesting thing is it's a physical measurement. So when the sample from your biopsy comes back melanoma and it's sent to a pathologist, one of the things that they do is actually take a ruler, obviously it's a pathology ruler um, that's part of a microscope, and they take a physical measurement of where the melanoma starts on the epidermis and how deep it goes down into the skin. Now, when we talk about the different stages of melanoma later, um, we'll come back to Breslow depth and sort of give you a gauge of, you know, stage ones go from this millimeter to this millimeter. But very um, generally, the Breslow depth is a physical measurement of how deep your melanoma goes into the skin. Something like melanoma um, in situ actually doesn't have a Breslow depth because there is no invasion down into the skin. So there would be no measurement there would just be one single layer of um, abnormal melanocytes, which would be an indication of a melanoma in situ. Melanoma in situ is very literally sit in the epidermis only, so they don't really have a depth. So that's why when you're looking at your pathology report for a melanoma in situ, you won't find Breslow depth on there. Sometimes pathologists will report it as a Breslow depth of zero, but that's very, very infrequent. Most of the time, if it's melanoma in situ, you won't find the words Breslow depth on your pathology report at all. Um, for every other um, melanoma um, that does have a physical measurement, you will see this reported um, on the pathology report, either in the initial final diagnosis or in what's called the synoptic. Um, obviously, the pathology report is something that we will talk about all of the components at a later date in one of the Melanoma 101 lectures, so stay tuned for that. Um, okay, so Breslow depth is a physical measurement. We've just talked about that. Um, the other thing that's important is it's essential for staging. It actually gives us the, the T part of tumor, node, and metastasis. So we look at all of those things. We look at the tumor, Breslow depth, and other characteristics. We look at nodes, whether there are nodes or aren't nodes, and if so, how many. We also look at metastases, and that's kind of broken down into where things you know have spread again future lecture we'll talk about staging but for now know that breslow depth really gives us the tumor part of our staging which is essential for overall stage in melanoma and the reason for that is that the staging and the breslow depth help guide our future surgeries that we would do um, it determines what margin we need to take when we go back and remove more skin around the, the melanoma in the form of a wide excision. It determines whether or not we need to look for lymph nodes. It determines truly follow-up. So folks that have deeper Breslow depths um, will in turn be staged at a higher level and will need more frequent follow-up than someone that has a very thin um, Breslow depth or not one at all with a melanoma in situ. So as you can see, Breslow depth is a very easy concept when you break it down like this. It's a physical measurement. It's reported on your pathology report most of the time. And if it's not, you really should have a pathology review that will look at that. Um, it helps us in terms of staging your melanoma and also it directs your future care. So Breslow depth, as you can see, is an extremely important part of the overall picture. I hope now you totally understand what a Breslow depth is and why it's important. Please stay tuned for future Melanoma 101 uh, videos where we'll talk about lots more things. I hope you have a wonderful day.